What's up, everybody? Welcome to a Wednesday edition of The Squeeze. I am Tyler Connie, and we're back after an off day yesterday, but I still had bets. I felt a little bad that last week was fairly inconsistent due to being sick. You can probably still hear it in my voice. It's been a week and a half now. <laughs> my goodness. Woke up last night in the middle of the night with a coughing fit, so that was super fun. If I sound more nasally than usual, I do apologize. I'm still a little bit sick, and I have allergies, which is awesome. But that's okay. We're back, man. We're enjoying the NHL playoffs. We're enjoying the NBA playoffs. We are three and four this week, um, down one unit. Um, not really much point to talk about Monday. We had the Blue Jays. They covered. Jays have been playing great, actually. And then yesterday, if you follow me on Twitter, I did post some picks. Usually Tuesday is no bet Tuesday, but. Again, because I was fairly inconsistent last week. Uh, We had the LA Dodgers on the money line. They were down like 7-3. They came back and won that game. We had Carolina in regulation. They lost. We had Oilers and the Kings to go under. They lost. But I did have the Blue Jays on the run line, minus one and a half. And they covered that as well. So it's been a lot of fun betting on the Blue Jays. And uh, I don't want to be those people that say there's some exciting things coming up and then not give away what it is. But there is some exciting stuff coming up, I think, for the squeeze and just for the the realm of what I'm doing in general. So I'm very excited about that. But let's start talking about our bets today. We're going to start in the NHL. We're going to start with the Boston Bruins. Boston Bruins are going to put this series to bed tonight, and they're going to advance. They're up 3-1 on the Florida Panthers, and I'm taking them to win this game on the puck line, which means can they win this game by two or more goals? I really think that they do. I just think that the Boston Bruins are much better than the Panthers, and it's I have two other side bets on the Bruins that if you've been trying to make them official, but I have the Bruins to win game one and win the series. They won game one, they can win the series tonight, and I had the Bruins to win the series in six or less games, so they have two chances to do that, which I like as well. Boston Bruins on the puck line. Look, they're just better than the Panthers. They were 35-5 and at home this season. Panthers were 20-20 and on the road. Against the spread, meaning against the puck line during the regular season, Bruins 49-37, and Panthers 35-51. and Now, you know, if you follow this along, you know I don't love the regular season trends when you get into the playoffs. That's fair. But when the Bruins have won in this series, they won 6-2, to so they won by 4. They've won 4-2, to two, they've won by 2, they've won 3-1, to one, they've won by 2. In all three wins in this series, they've won by 2 or more goals. I expect the same thing to happen. I expect them to put this game to bed, put it to rest, because they might have a fired-up Toronto Maple Leafs team to meet in round 2, and they're going to want to be ready for it, because the Leafs have the potential tomorrow, knock on all the wood you have around you, to also advance in five games, which means if that's the case, you're going to have two fairly rested teams playing in round two. Bruins have been battling injuries, particularly particularly Patrice Bergeron. Um, So I think you're going to want to be as healthy as possible. I have the Boston Bruins put this game to bed tonight. Minus one and a half. That's plus 112 at Bet Rivers. Now, uh, moving to the NBA, I've got the Milwaukee Bucks and the Miami Heat. This is arguably the most shocking series so far. You could say Kings and Warriors, but Warriors have tied that up, and now Darren Fox is out, so you don't really know what's going to happen there. Miami Heat are up 3-1 to one in the Milwaukee Bucks. Who had that on their bingo card, that the Miami Heat, led by Jimmy Butler, are up three games to one on the Milwaukee Bucks, who, when the playoffs started, were the odds-on favorite to win the NBA championship. Now, is Miami going to win this series? I don't know. They've got a pretty good chance. I don't think that they're going to finish it off tonight, though. On the regular season, Bucks were 59 and 27. They were 33 and 10 at home. Miami was 18 and 25 on the road. Haven't played great on the road. Obviously, they've been a little bit better because they've had to win a road game here. Um, they've won two straight games in this series. They just won 119, 114. They won 121, 99. Granted, that game was without Giannis. So I don't know who's going to win this game particularly. I, I. Well, I'm picking the Bucks in my third bet of the day on a parlay. I think it's going to be the Bucks. I don't think they're going to lose in five games, and Giannis is going to play in this. But I do like the team total for the Bucks to be over 115.5. So in this series so far, 
The Milwaukee Bucks have scored 114 points. That was in their most recent game. They've scored 99. That game was without Giannis. But previous to that, they'd scored 138 and 117. I think we're going to see more of that Bucks team than they're going to see in the most recent one. I'm going to throw out game three, throw out the game without Giannis where they scored 99. I'm not going to count that. And yeah, they only scored 114 in their most recent matchup, but they did not shoot well at all. It was really not a good game. You had uh, Giannis was 4 of 12. Drew Holiday was 6 of 19. They shot 42% in that basketball game. I think they're going to do much better in this one. They're going to be at home. I think that uh, they're going to put up some points. They're going to come out and go, look, we cannot go home in five games. And they're going to score a ton of points. So they can score 140 in this game. But I'm going to take them to go over 115 and a half. That is minus 114 at FanDuel. And now by that same token, I'm going to take that Bucks and I'm going to parlay that with the Colorado Avalanche, both just straight money line. And we've got a minus 119 parlay. That's that score bet. Again, are the Milwaukee Bucks, the best team in the Eastern Conference, going to go home in five games to the Miami Heat who are in the play-in tournament? I don't think so. It would be, you know, the shocker around the world if that were to happen, where if the eight were to upset the one. I don't see it. But we'll see. But I've got the Milwaukee Bucks in the money line, and I'm pairing that with the Avalanche and the Colorado Avalanche, who are playing the Kraken in Game Five. Huge Game Five. This series is tied two-two. Nobody gave the Kraken much of a chance to be this close in this series, but I do think Colorado is going to take the edge here. They are at home now. Seattle's been good on the road, but Colorado was the better team in the regular season, and I just think their goalie matchup with Georgiev is going to be a little bit better than Grubauer. Uh, Georgiev played more games, a lot more games. He had 2.56 goals against and a save percentage of 9.17, whereas. Grubauer Grubauer had a 2.84 with an 8.97 save percentage. I think the Colorado Avalanche get this game. They are going to be without Makar, who's suspended for a dirty hit. So that might play into their defensive matchup. I also like the over, which is five and a half here. But I just think Colorado's going to have to dig deep. They're going to have to use their experience. And they're going to have to get a big win here, where I think Seattle might be a little bit out experienced, which is important in playoff hockey. So I've got the Bucks and the Avalanche on a money line parlay. That's minus 119 at score bet. So... There is your Wednesday card. I've got the Boston Bruins on the puck line. That's plus 112 at Bet Rivers. I've got the Milwaukee Bucks to score over 115 and a half points for minus 114 at FanDuel. And I've got the Bucks and the Colorado Avalanche on a money line parlay, minus 119 at score bet. As always, feel free to drop a comment if you're fading or following. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at Tyler Arcadian for more picks and props throughout the day. TikTok and Instagram for just the picks portions. And Spotify and Apple's got your audio versions. Have a great Wednesday and let's talk sports.